Welcome to the, another session of our CAD piece by capture and simulation. In this um, presentation, we're going to talk about uh, Thevenin equivalent and Norton equivalent. So, uh, why would we need it? Sometime you might be given a com little more complex circuit, such as this one, and you're asked to find um, potentially um, the model that describes this whole circuit from at a given point, of, for example, terminal A to terminal B. Why would you be asked to do that? It might be uh, we're looking for finding the maximum power. We might want to know what happened if I put a voltmeter amp or a load on this one, how would the voltage or the current here changes. Those are the reasons we do modeling. Sometimes we also do a Thevenin equivalent because we want to let someone else use our product without having them to learn about all the details of our design. Sometimes we do not want to share the design details of our design with someone, but we still want them to use the product. So those are the purposes we use Thevenin equivalent. Just a, just a refresher, um, uh, just to make sure we are all uh, kind of remembering um, um, the Thevenin equivalent, if you will, and um, here, here is a here is a Norton equivalent, which is I short circuit, and R Thevenin in parallel with each other, and then here is the um, Thevenin equivalent, where we have a voltage source in series with a resistance. Now, what this voltage is, sometimes this voltage is referred to as a V open circuit, which simply says where you are going to put the load or the voltmeter or your measurement device um, or your other device, the new device you're going to attach to it, that those terminals, you can leave it open and measure the voltage across it, and that would be the V Thevenin. If you short across that terminal and the current is measured is I short circuit. If you're looking for R Thevenin, then in this case would be V Thevenin over I short circuit. Since you have the I short circuit and V Thevenin, you would be able to find R Thevenin. So now let's go back to our design. And here is a design and you're asked to do um, Thevenin Norton equivalent. Now, uh, when we were doing um, the analysis by hand, it was pretty straightforward. We would just basically put a sh uh, leave this open across the terminals we're trying to find a Thevenin equivalent we find a voltage in this case um, in some circuits that would be problematic because the R would be infinite and it might cause um, you know wrong information so it is it is recommended that it is recommended that uh, what you do is put a capacitor across those terminals instead of leaving it open and since this is a DC model, the capacitor would appear as an open or an infinite impedance or approximately infinite impedance. So let's go ahead and put a capacitor there. Um, the size, typically one nanofarad is more or small enough for what we are doing such that the impedance would be infinite. So let's go ahead and leave C1 here and then we're going to connect them to the two terminals. And all now we have to do is basically say, okay, we want to do a piece by simulation. Um, bias point uh, simulation would be great, general setting, really nothing special here. We just write, run the bias point, and we're going to run the simulation. And then when we run the simulation, we'll go ahead and uh, take, a, take a look at it. Uh, unknown data format, so we'll have to run that one more time. Um, um, Let's go ahead and go back and run this one more time. There we go. And then there was, um, so this time it actually were able to erase the files and write the new one. So we'll go back here and see what our open circuit voltage is simply by cl clicking on the uh, voltage bias display. It's 2.017. This is V open circuit. So now we have the V open circuit as 2.017 volts. Just so we remember, we're going to go back to our model that we're creating, and we're going to go ahead and put the value of 2.017 for V open circuit or V7. All right. Now, the next thing we are trying to find is I short circuit. Again, uh, if we were doing it by hand, we simply put a short, we simply put a short across the terminals we're trying to find the um, 
covalent and that would be all we need to do in this particular case uh, it's uh, it's a uh, we just got to make sure that there is some resistance across it such as nine non zero this would prevent the system from the computer system in the modeling uh, equations to end up with something divided by zero so all we're going to do we're going to change this resistor to a very relatively small resistor so one micro micro ohm for example now that's pretty small if you look at 5k or even one ohm one micro uh, micro ohm is like 10 to the minus six so it's uh, um, you know uh, very 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 small uh, error if any would cause us so all now we have to do is when we run it we're going to need to find out what is the short circuit current um, here which would be the current through r5 so let's go ahead and run the simulation was set up for the previous part because so we can simply go back and click on the run and see uh, and uh, you have to do it a couple of times because we have changed the simulation you had to save it and rerun it so let's go back to it again and run it one more time and so now what we can do is let's go ahead and we don't we're not interested in the voltages anymore we're interested in the current and we find that the i short circuit is 606 micro amps so all we have to do we go over here and now our i short circuit is 606 micro amps all right so r thevenin what's r thevenin r thevenin simply is going to be 2.017 divided by um, if I have that number 606 or 607 to be exact 607 micro micro amp so now we have the so to find the R7 and we simply take two um, we simply have to take the um, 2.017 so 2 2.017 and we divide the voltage 2.017 by point 6 or, or 6 or 7 micro micro amp be aware of all the conversions we need to do which we have to turn it into an amp so we have to basically multiply the result by 10 to the minus 6 so uh, on another term we have uh, uh, basically 3.3k our, uh, our resistance oops our resistance would be 3.3k and now we have have uh, got the model uh, for both uh, Norton as well as uh, Thevenin figured out at this point if somebody puts a load on it for example if they decided that oh we have a load that's going to be added to our circuit we just simply put it in here and do whatever analysis we need to do to figure out what changed um, uh, thank you and uh, see you in the next uh, presentation